Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed ramp a video clip using Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Movie Edit Pro. It's going to create a new project, just a basic standard project and we're going to drag this video clip onto the timeline and we'll click adjust here because it's going to change the frame rate so here we can see the video clip of the car and as it's going around this corner when it gets around here i want to slow down the video clip as it gets around the corner then we'll speed it back up again uh, and do some sort of a speed ramp here so to do that let's click on the video clip first thing i want to do is get rid of the audio so i'm just going to mute it for now because it's quite noisy the car so we won't really hear that while we're doing this work and we're going to click effects and inside effects make sure the video clip is selected and we're going to click speed here speed so with speed option uh, we want to add a keyframe first right so we're going to click add keyframe and we're going to see a keyframe on the timeline you can click this little eye icon and let's just uh, try and zoom in here a little bit for you let's see I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can increase the, the size here. You can see this red line. This represents the current speed of the video clip. You can see it's flat because it's consistent, right? It's running at uh, one, which is representing the original frame rate, right? So it's just that one. But we're going to add a keyframe at the beginning and we're going to move across and around here. I want to slow down the video clip. And to do that, I'm going to add another keyframe. So let's add another keyframe and we're going to move forward a few frames let's say about uh, just a few a handful of frames right and we'll click uh, add another keyframe here as well and then we're going to take the factor and we're going to set it down to we can do like half speed but let's set it to around 0 0.3 so it's going to be like a third of its original speed and you can see the line drops down so this is representing that the, the video clip is now reduced in speed and as we scrub across the timeline i think when, we, when it gets to around here we want to speed it back up again so let's go to this point here and we'll add another keyframe and we're going to jog forward a few frames again and we're going to add another keyframe let's add another keyframe and the fact that we're going to set this back to one now so it's going to be its original speed so you can see like the dip down here and it and it moves up here and these handles represent um the uh the speed reduction and then the speed increase here you see there's slightly different sort of durations here so you can grab the handle just move the timeline out of the way you can click on one of these handles and i believe you can hold down the let's see you can hold down the control key and that will constrain the um this keyframe from moving up and down when you hold down the control key you can try and get them roughly the same sort of space between them so you can see like it's a bit consistent now yeah you can drag these handles to speed like the the reduction of speed um you can increase the duration by moving the handle to the left and increase the speed ramp up here by increasing it to the right but for now let's just see what happens let's go back to the beginning and press the play button and we can see when it gets to around here it starts to slow down as the car's coming around the corner and then when it gets to around this point it's going to start to speed back up again so that's called a speed ramp right now the best option is if you're filming your own content so let's just say i've taken this video clip off the internet and this video clip originally ran at 30 frames a second but to do really good speed ramp you want to you want to record your video at around 60 or 120 frames a second the more frames you've got the better the speed ramp will be or like the visual representation of it because as we go around this corner remember we're reducing the frame rate um to one third like a third almost of, of the original so it's running at really 10 frames it's dropping down to around 10 frames a second here right so it's not going to be the best option but if you was running it at let's say 60 frames a second then this will be dropped down to 20 frames a second here right and it will just look better it will look better the the frames in between um the content Right, but this is the idea, the concept of doing a speed ramp, just to understand that. You can apply that to any sort of content, right? If someone's diving into some water as they're jumping off the diving board, when they're just about to hit the water, you could speed ramp down and they'll splash and do all that good stuff. And then as they dive and their legs disappear under the water, you can speed ramp back up again. That's kind of an idea. So let's go ahead and go to File, Save As. And we'll go to my desktop here and let's just save this work. So this is speed ramp here. Let's just call it speed ramp and we'll save this 
let's close down Movie Edit Pro 2022. That job is done. You've got the original make file here, so if you ever want to open and edit this content again, then you can go ahead and click that and edit the video. So I'm going to be making lots more tutorials on Movie Edit Pro 2022. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. For now, we're going to focus on Movie Edit Pro and then we'll move on to some other software once we've got through these tutorials. Okay, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.